Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. And on today's episode, we are going to be talking about how someone treats themselves is how they are going to treat you. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. Okay, so I know they say that how somebody treats other people is a reflection of how they're going to treat you, like how somebody treats a server or a waiter or the delivery driver, shows you how they will treat you in the long run. And I agree with that to an extent because I feel like people are going to show you what they want to show you. So if I want to be perceived as a good person, as a nice person, especially if I'm on a date, I am going to act accordingly. So I feel like people need to pay attention to how people treat themselves because how people treat themselves is a reflection of how they are going to treat you. And I know a lot of us thought it was the other way, but what I mean by this, if somebody doesn't go to the doctors regularly, somebody doesn't go to the dentist regularly or the eye doctor regularly and they don't even check up on themselves and make sure that they are okay what makes you think that they are going to do that for you if they don't even make sure their own health is okay what makes you think that they're going to be worried about your emotional health or your mental health or your physical health if somebody doesn't maintain their nails and that's just the little minute things or their feet what makes you think that they are going to pay attention to the minute details in your relationship somebody doesn't have a healthy relationship with themselves healthy communication self-aware it's going to be the same way in the relationship. So if somebody is not keeping up with themselves, they are not going to keep up with the relationship. If somebody doesn't have any ambition within themselves, they are not going to have that in your relationship. We have to stop trying to change people or fix people and mold them into the people that we want them to be we have to stop doing that it is not their job to change for you it is your job to change your environment change what you attract change what you allow in your life stop trying to change people to fit your mold People tell you exactly who they are way before you guys get into an intimate or a serious relationship. And I'm not even talking about the red flags. I've already done a video on that. I'm just talking about how somebody treats themselves. You can tell how they're going to treat you in a relationship because love starts with you. And I know y'all have heard that cliche all the time. If you don't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else? And I've told you guys, the most cliche things be the most realist things. You can't give somebody else something that you don't even have. How can I give you something that I don't have? So start paying attention to how people treat themselves. Stop looking if they're nice to the dog. Stop looking to see if they're nice to your kids. Stop looking to see if they're nice to the waiter. If they're going to tip, they're going to, pe they're going to perform in a way that they know is going to entertain you. They are going to show you what they think you want to see. So when it comes to ourselves, we can do whatever we want to ourselves. So that's what you need to pay attention to. How do they talk to themselves? When you try to compliment them, do they throw the compliment away? Like, oh no, I look a mess, or I didn't even do my hair today, or my face is breaking out. That's a red flag. If they can't receive compliments, 
they might not even be able to give compliments. That could also show that they have a low self-esteem, which can also equate to insecurities, jealousy. You see how things, the little things turn into the big things? Check their hygiene. How does their nails look? How do they keep their hair? Is their tongue white? What their teeth look like? How do they smell? Is there residue up underneath their armpits? Like, <laughs> when I say I notice the little things, because how you treat you is literally showing how you are going to treat me. Do you take, do they take themselves out? Do they buy themselves things? Because if they buy themselves things, that lets you know that they have some type of form of self-love. You don't want to date somebody who just gives, 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 gives. And I know it sounds nice, like, ooh, a giver? All they got to do is take, receive? It's more of a mental thing. If somebody's always quick to give, always quick to put other people first, that's not a good sign. I don't want somebody who puts me first. I want to be second in your life because I'm telling you, you're second in mine. I am going to always come first. I have to always come first. I don't care who I date or who I marry. I will always put me first. You have to pay attention to the little things. I promise you guys. What do their shoes look like? And no, I'm not saying that everybody has to have on a crisp white pair of Air Force Ones. I'm not saying that. But for example, to me, if I was a male, I personally would not date a female who does not keep her feet done. I'm telling you, and I know all the girls are like, oh, no, no, no. I'm telling you now, as a man, I would not date a woman who does not keep her feet done. Because to me, our feet are so below us, so beneath us. It's not something that you see every day, like your hair, your hands, you know, your body. It's not something you see often, is what I'm saying. You got socks on, you got shoes on, other than that, don't nobody really think about their feet like that. So for a woman to keep her feet done, something that's so beneath her and not seen, to me, it shows a certain level of self-care. Like, okay, I'm going to have sneakers on. Okay, I'm going to have socks on. Okay, my feet going to be covered up. But for you to still take the time out to make sure your feet look good regardless is such a beautiful form of self-awareness and self-love. Same thing with women who wear lingerie, even if they're not in a relationship, even if they're not going out and getting none. Just the thought of you wanting to feel sexy for you is just beautiful. So y'all have to also, ladies, because I there are men who think like that. Oh, I can't date a shawty who don't do X, Y, and Z, who don't keep up with X, Y, and Z. That's why there's so many songs of hell, hair done, nails done, everything did. Like, it's always a song about a woman keeping her hair done, her nails done, her toes done, and making sure she looks good, regardless if it's for a dude or not. So ladies, y'all need to start coming hard too stop letting niggas finger you and they nails is not done look like they've been on the streets all day or some type of construction worker and if you do have a man that's construction worker okay you need to go get a mani petty every two weeks with you nobody want no rough ass hands rubbing up on them dirty nails then trying to now you wonder why your ph balance is off brushing their teeth twice a day and he giving you head, his tongue is white, and you're wondering why your pH balance is off. How often do these people shower? Look at your man or your boo and ask him, when's the last time he been to the doctor? Last time he got his eyes checked? Last time he went to the dentist? And if you are not taking care of you, how are you going to take care of me? And it's different, okay, if you're not in a relationship. I'm talking about the people who are in relationships or who are pursuing somebody. You have to keep up with yourself or you need to pay attention on if your partner is keeping up on with themselves. Do they wear the same boxes every day? Do they wear the same sports bra every day? No. What do they do on their free time? 
because it lets you know where somebody's mind is at. And I'm not saying, oh, you got to be at the library or with your head stuck in a book. I'm not saying that. That'd be great. You know, if you're into going out in nature, reading books, podcasts, yoga, that's cool. Something that is self-helping you. But if you just on the game all day, scrolling on TikTok all day, getting high all day, drinking all day, out in the streets all day, not doing nothing productive or beneficial for you and your future, and that's just your life. What would make you think I'm going to bring whatever you got going on to disrupt what I have going on? And I don't never understand that. People get with people or have babies with people and then be like, oh, he a Debbie, or oh, he ain't never doing nothing. He lazy, he this, this and that. He wasn't that person when y'all first met. It's most likely they were. And you either ignore the red flags or you did not look and see how that person treated themselves. Again, no ambition, no life purpose, no motivation. They're not productive. They're not in school. They don't work. Like, what are you doing? No type of hobbies. What are you pursuing? If you're not even doing that for yourself, you, again, you're not going to do it for me. I don't care if you were born with a twin. I don't care if you were born into a big ass family. You only have you since the day you are born to the day you are going to die. You only have you. As far as you to take care of, you to worry about, you are in your body 24 seven. You are around you 24-7. Unless you are a, what some, some uh, people call conjointed twins. Unless you are a conjointed twin, other than that, you are with you 24-7. Nobody else is with you, okay? So if you are not taking care of you, the most important person on this world, I can't be in a relationship with you. I cannot. Start to pay attention, y'all. I'm telling you, you will save so much time, so much heartbreak. Put the red flag video in this video and mush them together. And you will never deal with the fuck nigga or fuck girl ever again in your life. But I am Seiko Kaori, the manifesting goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like comment and subscribe and enjoy your weekend and i will see you guys on sunday bye